So I am an Australian that's been in the UK for six months now and here are the first things that I noticed when I arrived. People in London walk really, really fast. Like I walk fast for Australia and for Melbourne where I'm from, but they beat me hands down. I've got like 60 year olds that are like coming on your left. Like it's crazy, they're really, really quick. Like I know you gotta get where you're going, but do you have to get that fast? And then once you leave London, everyone just doesn't care. They're all just chill and slow and happy to walk around at their own pace. I can't stress this one enough. Kebabs are not the same. When I order a kebab, I want like a cocoon of meat. I want it to be like soaking in sauce and it just fall apart as you try to eat it. And it's all one self-contained unit of meaty deliciousness. It took me, f it took me four months in the UK to work out that a kebab here is like like a salad, you get like a little oval of pita that's like this big and then he... Why? Taxis are the most adorable thing ever. Public transport is expensive as fuck. I don't get why everything costs so much to get around. Trains double the cost they are in Australia and they're confusing as to get around. Taxis cost double what they do in Australia. Buses and stuff are not all connected in the same system. I don't get it. It's weird. Working in a bar is a low income job. I've been a bartender for seven years in Australia and we're on like $25 an hour, which is like £12.50 an hour minimum. Sometimes it's higher than that. And then you come to the UK and it's like £8.20, which is like $16 an hour. <laughs> I can't afford to eat on that. Drinking tea is still a thing that everyone in the UK does. And everyone seems to know this story about how like the power grid gets boosted when there's ads in major TV shows because everyone goes to turn on their kettles. It's still a thing. This may be because I'm from Melbourne, but the coffee here is mediocre. It's probably why everyone goes to tea. You have no choice when it comes to coffee here. It's just black or white. It's so basic. And I just want a good coffee. People go hard in bars here. Like I thought Australians go hard in bars. People in the UK drink heaps. However, it's probably because it costs a lot less to drink here than it does back at home. I once had a guy come to my bar from London to Australia and I told him it was $13 for a pint and he was like, what? I was like, yeah, it's $13 for a pint. And he was like, it's like, that's like £6.50. And I was like, yep. Can you pay now? So coming here, being outside of London, it's so cheap so cheap to drink, which explains why everyone goes and drinks because there's nothing else to do in the UK. It's always rainy and miserable. And on that note, no one ever gets cut off in the UK. People go hard, they get pissed, and you don't cut them off. It's just standard procedure that they just get as drunk as they want. At home, if someone gets that bad, you can get in serious trouble. Like I made a name for myself because I was cutting people off at the bar and they were like, you can't do that. And I'm like, pretty sure I can because I am. When I first arrived to the UK, it was winter and we got like four hours of sun for the whole day. People would not even be leaving work in the afternoon and the sun would already be down. It was the weirdest feeling coming from summer in Australia. And now like, there's so much sun. It comes up, it comes up at like 4.30 in the morning and goes down at like 9.30 at night. But it's cloudy most of the time, so I, I, there's been periods where I haven't seen the sun for four days. Which is probably why everyone's miserable in the UK, because they never get to see the sun. Finding a bin in London is really difficult. Like, for some reason, there's just no public bins anywhere. I'm, like, carrying rubbish with me for kilometres of walking, and there's just nowhere to put it. I don't know why. Why London? Anything over 22 degrees is considered, like, a super hot day. Don't know why, because in Australia, that's, like, winter, but... It's considered super hot. It's so hot. Why? It's, I can't breathe. It's just, I'm sweating. It's, it's 23 degrees, like maybe don't wear a jacket. Travel to other European countries is super, super cheap, which explains why people are always like, oh, I'm going on holiday next week. And I'm sitting here from Australia and be like, how do you afford to go anywhere? Turns out it's only like, 60 pound to the nearest country. Oh, I'm just dipping off to France for the weekend. How? Just felt like going on a holiday. How can you afford that? 
It's only like 80 pounds for a flight. <sighs> Nearly all the food in the UK is imported, like apples from South Africa and bananas from Belize. I don't know where Belize is, but I have bananas from Belize. There are an incredibly high number of accents to learn. Like, Australians have an Australian accent, but in the UK, even though it's a much smaller place, you've got so many different accents. So many. So many. You all live so close together, why don't you sound the same? People don't like driving. It's a small country and you're so close together, but you don't want to drive to the next town over. Like, a 20 minute drive is a long drive. I used to drive 55 minutes every day to get to university. Pudding. Pudding is a dessert. But Yorkshire pudding is not a dessert. Black pudding is definitely not a dessert. Why?